Yeah. So what we're seeing here is the uh, the uh, shabby chef kind of response here, followed by a much more rapid decay here. So you see, you've got the same kind of drop that you had before, but it's happening over a much lower frequency range here. So what we've done is those two reactive components have actually created a faster cut-off filter. So ideally, a filter would just be da -da 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 dunk, and then nothing. What's interesting about this is what, what have you got your signal generator voltage set at? 10. 10, and we're making a jump up to 20. Yeah, so that's VP you've got that on, isn't it? That doesn't matter. You notice this, look, it's going to 20 here. So just go into there, into your signal generator, and just change that to 5 VP, or just change... But that's voltage to P, not voltage to P to P. Yeah. So that should be a maximum of 10, and plus 10 and minus Yeah, well, if you've done VPP, it would do the same thing, but that's fine. So now run it again, and you should see that just going up to 10 volts, yeah. which is what you would expect. So this, this is the overshoot created by the uh, inductor and capacitor working together. So this is, if you like, the cost, but this is the reward, because it cuts off much, much, much quicker.